Where are we? Medical bay. <sighs> this isn't worth it. A little suffering is good for the soul. Hey, how are you? Aren't you the one that always says a little suffering is good for the soul? I never said that. This is the... Don't be such an infant. Uh, 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 how long is it supposed to be? Unbelievable. What is it? I don't need any... I'm still chief medical officer in the Enterprise. I'll tell you what you need and when you need it. Would you rather have the bend? I said, just lie down and relax. Such action violates the prime directive. Shut up, Spock. We're trying to save you, damn it. Doctor, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Do not risk the ship further on my behalf. Shut up, Spock. We're rescuing you. You all right? Captain, you let them see our ship. Oh, he's fine. Right. Spock, you're alive. Obviously, Captain. And I have some fascinating data on the organism. Don't be so smart, Spock. You botched the acetylcholine test. Later, later, later. Permission to speak freely, sir. I welcome it. Do you? Okay, then. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? Are you suggesting that they could have transported over a distance of... You're out of your Vulcan mind, Spock. I think I found an antidote for You're it. You're too late, Doctor. The captain has found his own antidote. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? Do you know how long I've the worked on that? Too so, if I remember uh, correctly, the uh, Vulcans have their hearts where uh, humans have their uh, livers. That is correct, Doctor. But that explains a thing or two. Smack right in the old eye. Oh, I'm sorry. In your case, it would be about here. The fact that my internal arrangement differs from yours, Doctor, pleases me no end. Come on, you can make it. Leaving me behind will significantly increase your chances of survival, Doctor. Well, that's damn sure we're so we have it completely out of the question. It is imperative that you locate any surviving crew. Here I was thinking you cared. In this severe cold, we cannot survive much longer. Leave me here, Spock. We go together or not at all. Don't be a fool. My hands and face are frostbitten. I can't feel my feet. Alone, you have a chance. Now do what I say. Go try to find Jim. We go together. You stubborn, thick-headed Vulcan. Energize. You're going to do great. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a fuck. Some men spend the majority of their lives in mines beneath the surface. I'm a doctor, not a coal miner. I wasn't asking for your opinion. Bones, get that thing off my face. Captain, our mission could start a war with... Doctor, your medical skill and curiosity are quite admirable, but I assure you I'm all right. I am aware that James Kirk is a friend of yours. I recognize that supporting me as you did must have been difficult. Is that a thank you? I am simply acknowledging your difficulties. Random chance seems to have operated in our favor. In plain non-Vulcan English, we've been lucky. I believe I said that, Doctor. Who was that pointy-eared bastard? I don't know, but I like him. I don't know too much about these little tribbles yet, but there is one thing that I have discovered. What is that, Doctor? I like them better than I like you. Somatic tension. Oh, you don't think that looks tense? Looks like a damn snow globe in space, just waiting to break. Oh, that's the spirit bones. Men weren't intended to live this far underground. It's just not natural. As space travel is. You know, when I dreamt about being stuck on a deserted planet with a gorgeous woman, there was no torpedo. Dr. McCoy, may I remind you, you are not there to flirt. So how can these legendary hands help you, Dr. Marcus? Bones. To understand... And, uh, how do you explain that? Well, after all, I am on shore leave. And so am I. Oh, yes, so you are. Well, girls, I suppose you can turn something up. Jim, get her the hell out of here! No, if you beam me back, he dies! Just let me do it! Ten. Captain, you might lose the doctor that way. He might, but we're sure to lose you if I don't try. Are you making the logical choice, sending Kirk away? Probably, but the right one? Now back home, we got a saying. If you're gonna ride in the Kentucky Derby, you don't leave your prize stallion in the stable. And you could at least act like it was a hard decision. I intend to assist in the effort to reestablish communication with Starfleet. However, if crew morale is better served by my roaming the halls weeping, 
I will gladly defer to your medical expertise. Excuse me. Disabled. You should have known what could have happened. And done everything in your power to safeguard your crew. That is the mark of a starship captain like Jim. Doctor, I hardly believe this is the time for comparisons. Please go at once to your laboratory and search for an antidote to the effects of this space. That is your primary task, since we must remain here. Green-blooded hobgoblin. I'm trying to thank you, you pointed-eared hobgoblin. But if we try to revive him without the proper sequencing, could kill him. This technology is beyond me. I'm not a mechanic. I couldn't get that thing to work, no matter how many notes you left. Possibly not. The doctor does have a point, Captain. Don't agree with me, Spock. It makes me very uncomfortable. Perhaps you too should learn to govern your emotions, Doctor. In this situation, logic dictates logic. that we... Medical men are trained in logic, Mr. Spock. Really, Doctor? I had no idea they were trained. Watching you, I assumed it was trial and error. Are they enemies, Captain? I'm not sure they're sure. 